I've been let loose with the gimbal again with the aim of taking you round to have a look inside our garden greenhouse but first I thought I'd let you have a little peep at some of the things in the garden whilst we make our way up there. We're quite pleased with the pots on the patio. The anemones were a special surprise because the corms or tubers or whatever they're called actually lurked inside our pantry for a couple of years forgotten so when I planted them last year I didn't actually expect anything to come up but they have and these little tulips are quite different so making our way past the pebble garden and up the steps and into the greenhouse it's quite warm in here today as the sun's quite bright so starting off this is going to be tricky because the sun's actually stopping me seeing what is actually on the screen. So we start with, we've got quite a few seeds growing. We've got, let's have a look, see if I can shade this a little bit. We've got some lettuces. some cabbages, tomatoes, Brussels sprouts, more cabbages and then there's various sweet peppers, tomatoes, some ageratums there, some flowers mixed in, uh, some gazanias, a dried flower mixture that I've, I'm trying this year. And what are these in the background? Oh, some more tomatoes. Then we have a few trays of leeks. And just have a little shuffle around. This tray with nothing coming up at all are courgettes having a bit of a problem with courgettes this year they just don't seem to want to germinate and then here we've got aubergines and sweet peppers galadia and limonium status and a few lettuces which are going to be planted out in a few minutes have a look at the other side so here we've got potato growing in the potato bag doing quite well then in front of that I hope I'm pointing this in the right direction because I can see absolutely nothing we've got some dahlias sprouting There's another potato and the grapevine, as you can see, is shooting well. And down here, the little pot here, these two little pots are cuttings of the passion flower that's got a uh, aquilegia seedling self-seeded itself in there and there's a pelargonium few herbs that we bought as an early start got some mint some coriander that needs clipping again 
and some parsley. In there, there's an osteospermum just starting to come again. You see it just, just there. And a little Namisha there, all from last year. Then we've got the parsley that's left over from last year. I think that's a fuchsia in there. It's not doing anything just yet. Lavender. And in here, we've got the start of a canna. It looks as though a slug's been lurking there, so we'll have to watch out for that. And this one's an agapanthus that will go out soon, and another lavender. So moving around, the banana's not actually doing anything just yet and the sun's just gone in and I can now see what I'm doing. Then this is our peach tree and there actually are some peaches setting just up there. There's a few actually if you have a good look. On the other hand, you don't need to look very carefully to see that there are loads and loads of apricots. Some up there too. And then here we've got the nectarine tree, which has some nectarines forming. There's one. And there's another, just under there. And there's another up there, look. And then moving across here, we've got our sweet peas, which are just about ready for nipping out, the centre's nipping out, and then they'll be going to be planted out. Over at the back, some spring onions, more dahlias, and more sweet peas. And that is about it. Hope you managed to see most of that. I didn't. Maybe I should do it all again now the sun's gone out. Or maybe not. So, let's head back down to the house and just see what I've managed. To do. If it's a disaster, I probably won't be let loose with it again. Bye for now.